To be able to generate new insights to an old problem, we need to be able to relax, pay attention to something else for a while, like the physical body, get rid of the mental noise, and then form completely new connections between pieces of previously unlinked information. This yoga practice uses breath, movement, sound, and imagery to help you quiet the mind, facilitate a more relaxed mental state, digest mental chatter, and see your old problem in a new light. You'll be chanting Sutra 1.6, Pramana Viparyaya Vikalpa Nidra Smirtayaha, which lists the five mental activities of the mind, correct understanding, incorrect understanding, imagination, deep sleep, and memory. Chanting is considered one of the most effective tools for training your attention and expanding your mental horizons. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. We will begin the practice in a comfortable seated position. So take a moment now to get settled on the floor, on bolster or chair, whatever seems most appropriate to you right now. If you have a yoga block, keep it handy. We might use it later. So go ahead and get settled. Close your eyes. Bring your attention inward. Go ahead and bring your attention to your, the quality of your mental activity right now. Observe your thoughts come and go. Notice how they pop out of nowhere and then vanish. So for the next few breath cycle, just observe your mental activity happening right now. Then bring your attention to your breath. Little by little begin to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation. And as you do that, Take a moment to think of one challenge that you're currently dealing with. It can be a physical discomfort that keeps showing up for you, or it can be any sort of physiological issue, or maybe mental emotional challenge. Something that's been on your mind lately, something that seems relevant, most relevant to you right now. So make your selection and take a moment to formulate the issue in just a few words. What is it? What is your current challenge right now? And after you formulate your current challenge, bring your attention back to your breath, please. And then shift your attention to the top of your head. Next time when you inhale, imagine drawing a mental line from the top of the head to the middle of your head. 
kind of right behind your third eye center. And with the exhalation, move your attention from that point back up to the top of the head. Next time you inhale, draw the imaginary line from the top of your head to the middle of your neck. And with the exhalation, reverse and return your attention back up to the top of the head. Next time, when you inhale, draw the line from the top of the head all the way down to the middle of your chest, near your heart. And with the exhalation, reverse and move your attention back up to the top of the head. With the next inhalation, draw that mental line from the top of the head all the way down into the middle of your belly, right around the solar plexus area. And with the exhalation, reverse and move your attention back up to the top of the head. With the next inhalation, draw the line down into the middle of your pelvis. And with the exhalation, reverse and move your attention back up to the top of your head. And with the next inhalation, draw the line from the top of the head all the way down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, reverse and bring it back up. And now as you continue to breathe, Every time you inhale, draw that imaginary line from the top of the head through the middle of the body and then down to the pelvic floor area. And with the exhalation, reverse, moving your attention up toward the top of the head. Continue to breathe like that, with every inhalation creating this imaginary line from top to bottom, and with the exhalation, imaginary line from the bottom to the top. Take a couple more breaths like that, please. And as you continue to breathe like that, Continue to draw this imaginary line up and down. And as you do that, we will add the chant to it. So I will chant as you inhale, and you will chant mentally, repeating after me as you exhale. So go ahead and exhale fully. With the inhalation, draw the imaginary line from top to bottom as I chant. Pramana Viparyaya. Exhale, chant. Pramana Viparyaya. Inhale. Pramana Viparyaya. Exhale. Chant mentally. Pramana Viparyaya. Do that two more times on your own, please. And whenever you finish with your current cycle, go ahead and transition up onto your knees. Stand up on your knees. You can always put some extra padding under your knees to be more comfortable. Place your left hand behind your lower back. With the next inhalation, sweep your right arm forward and up. Create nice length upwards. And with the exhalation, maintain that length as you bend forward, gradually contracting the abdomen, bringing your hand down to the ground. With the inhalation, reach forward, lengthen, and go back up onto your knees. And with the exhalation, sweep your right arm out and down, folding it behind your head and turning your head away from the moving arm. With the inhalation, sweep your left arm forward and up, create length, maintain the length. With the exhalation, gradually bend forward, contracting the abdomen. Put your hand on the floor. With the inhalation, lengthen, lift the chest, go back up. Stay up and with the exhalation, move your left arm out and down as you turn the head away from the moving arm. Let's do it again. With the inhalation, raise your right arm forward and up, stretch. 
Maintain the length as you bend forward, gradually contracting the abdomen. Make sure not to collapse the chest. With the inhalation, reach forward, lengthen, and go back up. And with the exhalation, move your arm out and down, turning the head away. Do it one more time on the other side on your own, please. Full deep breathing. With the next inhalation, raise both arms up, please. Keep them extended. And as you exhale, gradually contract the abdomen and bend forward, placing your hands on the floor in front of you. With the inhalation, come on up onto your hands and knees, lifting the chest forward and up away from the navel. On the exhale, curl the toes under, lift your knees off the ground and push your butt back into the downward facing dog. Stretch from your palms into the tailbone. With the inhalation, carry your upper body forward into the plank position, aligning your shoulders over your wrists. And with the exhalation, return into the downward facing dog, stretching from your palms into the tailbone. With the inhalation, bring your knees down, lifting the chest forward and up, widen the chest. And with the exhalation, bring your elbows down first and then move your butt down toward the heels. Relax your neck. We'll continue to move through this cycle. On the inhale, come on up onto your hands and knees. Lift the chest away from the navel. Exhale, lift your knees, downward facing dog, stretching from your palms all the way back into your tailbone. You can keep the knees generously bent, whatever is most comfortable. With the inhalation, carry your upper body forward, aligning your shoulders over your wrists. Make sure not to collapse your hips. With the exhalation, return into the downward facing dog. Bend the knees if necessary. And with the inhalation, bring your knees down, lift the chest forward and up. And as you exhale, gradually contract the abdomen, bring your elbows down first, and then your butt down toward the heels. Continue to move like that on your own, full deep breathing, moving through the entire cycle on your own. And continue to move like that until you end up in downward facing dog. Stay here. If you feel that your upper back is rounding right now, you can always bring your knees to the ground and stay there. Our goal is to create maximum length from the palms into the tailbone. We want to make sure that the spine stays long. So choose the version of the downward facing dog that you want to stay in. Next time when you inhale, draw that imaginary line from the top of the head all the way down to the pelvic floor, lengthening along this line. And with the exhalation, draw the line back up as you gently lift the pelvic floor muscles and gradually contract the abdomen. And do that again with the inhalation. Lengthen along that imaginary line from the top of the head into the pelvic floor. With the exhalation, gently contract. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Gradually contract your abdomen as you return your attention up to the top of the head. We'll do that two more times for two more breaths. And we'll add our chant to it. So next time when you inhale, Go ahead and lengthen as you chant Pramana Viparyaya and exhale chant mentally again Pramana Viparyaya and again on the inhale lengthen Pramana Viparyaya and exhale Pramana Viparyaya do one more cycle on your own, please. Chant and lengthen as you inhale. And progressive abdominal contraction and chant as you exhale.
And whenever you finish with your current cycle, little by little walk your hands towards your feet so you end up standing on your feet. Hang down, relax your neck, relax the shoulders. Press your feet firmly into the ground. Bring your arms out to the sides, lead with the chest and go all the way up into standing. Reach up high, stretch. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. Stay tall, close your eyes. Make sure you're comfortable in the standing position. Keep the weight even between your feet. Bring the attention to the top of your head. And with the inhalation again, imagine moving that energy from the top of the head through the entire body and down toward the pelvic floor. With the exhalation, Imagine moving the energy up as you lift the pelvic floor muscles and gradually contract the abdomen. Take a few more breaths like that, please. Inhale from top to bottom. And exhale from the bottom to the top. Let's add our chant to it. So inhale, chant mentally. Pramana viparyaya and exhale chant mentally Pramana viparyaya Take two more breaths like that please Continue to breathe comfortably. Make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the next exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen, bend your knees and place your chest over your thighs, relaxing your neck. Make sure that your thighs don't go past parallel to the ground. With the inhalation, straighten the legs best you can and flatten your back creating a nice length from the top of the head to the tailbone. With the exhalation, bend the knees and place your chest over your thighs again. Relax your neck. And with the inhalation, lead with the chest and go all the way up into standing. Reach up high. And let's continue with the cycle. On the exhale, gradual abdominal contraction as you bend the knees and place your chest over your thighs. On the inhale, straighten the legs and flatten your back. Head is in line with the spine. With the exhalation, bend the knees and drape back down. And with the inhalation, lead with the chest, wide sweep with the arms as go, you go all the way up into standing. Go through the entire cycle one more time on your own, please. And continue to move through this cycle until you end up with your legs straight and your back flat. And then stay here. You can keep your hands on the ankles or your shins, wherever it's most comfortable to you. Your legs don't have to be fully straight. You can keep the knees soft. Our goal is to create maximum length from the top of the head into the tailbone. Keep your head in line with the spine, lengthen through the back of the neck. With the inhalation, imagine moving the energy from the top of the head through your body all the way into the pelvic floor area. And with the exhalation, imagine moving the energy upwards as you gently contract the pelvic floor and progressively contract your abdomen. Continue to breathe like that from top to bottom on the inhale and from the bottom to the top as you exhale and let's add our chant to it pramana viparyaya and exhale pramana viparyaya take two more breaths like that on your own please
And with the next exhalation, bend your knees, drape your body over your thighs. With the inhalation, lead with the chest, sweeping your arms out and up, come on up into standing. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. If you have a yoga block, go ahead and grab it now. And then step your right foot forward and left foot back. Make sure that your feet are pretty wide apart and they're not in one line, but toes of both feet are facing forward. Place the block to the inside of your right foot. And whenever you feel ready, with the next inhalation, raise both arms forward and up, reach up high. With the exhalation, slowly bend forward, bending your front knee and lifting your back heel up so you end up in a lunge position with your arms extended forward. With the inhalation, place your left hand on the block or the floor, lengthening through the right side of the body. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen and turn to your right, raising your right arm up, looking up. With the inhalation, turn forward, extending your right arm by your ear. With the exhalation, extend your left arm forward as well, supporting your weight with the front leg. And with the next inhalation, straighten your front leg and come on up into standing. With the exhalation, again, bend your front knee as you hinge forward, keep your arms extended. With the inhalation, place your left hand on the block or floor, lengthen. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen, rotate the body to your right, look up and reach up toward the ceiling. With the inhalation, turn forward, right arm by the ear. On the exhale, engage the abdomen and extend your left arm forward. And with the inhalation, straighten the front leg and come on up into standing. We'll continue to move like that. With the exhalation, bend the knee, extending the arms. Inhale, place your hand on the floor or the block, lengthen. With the exhalation, rotate the body, reach up toward the ceiling, look up. Stay here. Make sure that your legs stay strong. Keep your right knee aligned over your ankle. Every time you inhale, lengthen from the top of the head all the way down toward the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness from the bottom to the top. As you continue to do that, we'll add our chin to it. So as you inhale, lengthen. Pramana viparyaya. And as you exhale, move your attention up. Pramana viparyaya. Take two more breaths like that on your own, please. Continue to move your awareness from the top of the head down toward the pelvic floor and back. And every time you exhale, make sure to hug your waist in toward the center, creating support. With the next inhalation, turn forward with your arm extended by your ear. On the exhale, extend your left arm forward as well. And with the inhalation, straighten your front leg and come on up into standing. Reposition your feet so that your feet are about hip distance apart. Lower your arms. Close your eyes. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Notice the sensations in your body. And then whenever you feel ready, step your left foot forward and right foot back. Position the block on the inside of your left foot if you're using the block. With the next inhalation, raise both arms up. And as you exhale, bend your front knee, bend forward, keep your arms extended. Back heel lifts off the ground. With the inhalation, place your right hand down on the block while lengthening through the left side of the body. 
With the exhalation, contract the abdomen and twist, turning to your left, looking up, reaching up toward the ceiling. On the inhale, turn forward, looking down. With the exhalation, extend your right arm forward as well. And on the inhale, straighten your front leg and come on up into standing. With the exhalation, again, bend the knee as you hinge forward. Maintain the length in the entire body. As you inhale, place your right hand down on the block while maintaining the length. And with the exhalation, gradual abdominal contraction as you turn, looking up, reaching up toward the ceiling. On the inhale, turn forward again, arm by your ear. With the exhalation, engage the abdomen and extend your right arm forward. And with the inhalation, straighten your front leg coming up into standing. On the exhale, bend forward again, bending your front knee. Inhale, place your right hand on the block or floor. With the exhalation, turn the body looking up, stay here. With the inhalation, lengthen from the top of the head all the way down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your attention upward as you lift the pelvic floor muscles and gradually contract the abdomen. Continue to breathe and lengthen like that as we add our chant. So next time when you inhale, chant mentally. Pramana viparyaya and chant it again as you exhale. Pramana viparyaya. Take two more breaths like that on your own, please. Lengthening and chanting as you breathe. With the next inhalation, turn forward, extending your arm forward. As you exhale, engage the abdomen and extend your right arm forward as well. And with the next inhalation, come on up into standing. Turn to your right, keeping your feet wide apart. And turn your toes slightly out. With the inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually bend forward. As far down as you can comfortably. Next time, when you inhale, bend your knees, pulling them wide apart, lifting your upper body about halfway up and bringing your arms out to the sides. Neck, neck is long. And with the exhalation, bend back down, placing your hands on the floor or your legs, relaxing your neck. With the inhalation again, bend the knees, lift halfway up, arms out. And with the exhalation, bend down, extending your legs best you can. Again, with the inhalation, bend the knees and pull them apart as you flatten the back, arms out. And with the exhalation, bend forward. Now place your hands on your legs and slide them up so that your hands are above or below your knees. And with the inhalation, slowly flatten the back, keeping your upper body about parallel to the ground. Create nice long line from the top of the head into your tailbone. Extend your legs best you can. Make sure that the back of the neck stays long. With the inhalation, move your awareness from the top of the head through the entire body and down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move the awareness up as you gently contract your pelvic floor muscles and gradually contract the abdomen. We'll continue to move the attention down and up like that with the breath as we add our chant. So with the inhalation, move your awareness from top to bottom and chant Pramana Viparyaya and exhale, moving your awareness up. Pramana Viparyaya Continue to breathe like that, moving your awareness down and up with your breath and chanting mentally. With the next exhalation, bend forward, 
Press your feet down, bring your arms out to the sides, lead with the chest, and go all the way up into standing. Reach up high. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down and transition down. Sitting down on your heels or cross-legged or any comfortable seated position of your choice. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders. Keep the back of the neck long. Breathe deep. With the inhalation, move your attention from the top of the head, through your body, and down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness up toward the top of the head. And as you continue to breathe like that, we will chant the second part of the sutra. So next time when you inhale, chant mentally with me. Vikalpa Nidra Smrtayaha and exhale. Vikalpa Nidra Smrtayaha. Inhale. Vikalpa Nidra Smrtayaha. Exhale. Vikalpa Nidra Smrtayaha. Take two more breaths like that, please. Chanting mentally. And whenever you finish your current cycle, go ahead and transition down onto your hands and knees. With the inhalation, lift the chest forward and up, away from the navel. And with the exhalation, gradually contract the abdomen, bring your elbows down, and then your butt down toward the heels. Relax your neck. We'll do that three more times, comfortably, breathing deeply. Coming up onto your hands and knees as you inhale, lifting the chest. And progressive abdominal contraction as you bring your elbows down and move your butt down toward the heels. Continue to move like that on your own for two more breath cycles. And whenever you finish with your current cycle, go ahead and transition down into your stomach. Make sure that your hips feel leveled and planted. Place your feet together and your arms along the body, forehead on the ground. Make sure that you remain anchored through your pelvis throughout the movement and do your best to keep it leveled as you move. Next time when you inhale, lift your legs, bringing them wide apart, and at the same time, lift the upper body, sweeping your arms out and forward. And with the exhalation, slowly return into the starting position, feet together, arms along the body, forehead on the floor. And again, with the inhalation, lift everything up, moving your feet wide apart, sweeping your arms out and forward as you lift the chest, neck is long. And with the exhalation, slowly move down, feet together, arms along the body. Do this movement two more times on your own, please. Full deep breathing. And whenever you finish your current cycle, move your feet wide apart, please. Keep them on the floor. With the next inhalation, slowly lift your chest up. Keep your arms extended back and rest your hands on the floor. Stay here and let's take a few full deep breaths in the pose, making sure that you remain anchored through your pelvis and your legs. Every time you inhale, try to lift the chest away from the navel, keeping it wide, and keep your head in line with the spine.
With the next exhalation, move down. And then whenever you feel ready, roll onto your back and hug your knees to the chest. From here, make sure that the back of the neck feels long. Keep your knees bent and extend your arms along the body, palms facing each other. With the next inhalation, bring both arms over your head and extend both legs up toward the ceiling, heels up. With the next exhalation, lower your right arm down and bend your left knee at the same time. And with the inhalation, bring the arm back up and extend your leg up. With the next exhalation, lower your left arm down as you bend your right knee at the same time. And with the inhalation, extend them up again. Again, as you exhale, lower your right arm, bending your left knee. Inhale, extend them up. And with the exhalation, lower your left arm as you bend your right knee. And inhale, extend. Go through the entire cycle on your own one more time, please. And then from here, bend your knees a little bit and then see if you can reach for your toes with the fingers of both hands. If not, you can hold on to your ankles or your calves or your knees. It doesn't matter wherever you can reach. The most important point for us is to keep the length of the spine. Make sure that the back of the neck stays long. So hold on to whichever part of your legs feels comfortable right now. Keep your legs as straight as you can while making sure that your spine remains long as well. Chin is tucked in a bit, head is on the floor. Once you get settled in the position, next time when you inhale, create maximum length from the top of the head down into the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness from the pelvic floor all along the body up to the top of the head. And again, with the inhalation, create this length from top to bottom, elongating. And with the exhalation, move the awareness back up. And as we continue to do that, let's come back to our chant. So inhale and lengthen. Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha. And exhale. Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha. Inhale, Vikalpa Nidra Smirtayaha. Exhale, Vikalpa Nidra Smirtayaha. Take two more breaths like that, please. Continue to lengthen. And with the next exhalation, bend your knees, hug your knees to the chest for a moment. Roll onto your side and sit up. Extend your legs forward. And then keep your left leg extended as you bend your right knee out to the side. Your left leg doesn't have to be completely straight. If you can, you can keep it straight. If not, you can put a bolster or rolled up blanket underneath or even a block to create a little bit of support for your knee. Whatever feels the most comfortable to you. With the inhalation, extend your arms up and with the exhalation, gradually bend forward, draping your body over your leg and hold on to your foot with your left hand. With the inhalation, lift about halfway, lengthening your spine, right arm by the ear. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen and turn to your right, looking back, reaching back with your arm. With the inhalation, turn forward, right arm by your ear. And as you exhale, contract the abdomen and gradually move all the way down. With the inhalation, again, lift about halfway, lengthen. Exhale, engage the abdomen as you turn to your right, look back, stretch out through your arm. With the inhalation, turn forward, arm by your ear. 
and on the exhale move back down go through the cycle one more time on your own please following the rhythm of your breath Now hold on to your foot or your ankle with both hands. With the inhalation, pull the chest away from your thigh, flattening the back. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. Now to try to create the maximum length from the tailbone up to the top of the head. Make sure that the back of the neck stays long. Don't tense your shoulders. As you inhale, move your awareness from the top of the head through the entire body down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness up as you slightly contract the pelvic floor muscles and gradually contract the abdomen. Continue to move your awareness down and up like that with your breath. And we'll add our chant to it. So next time when you inhale, chant mentally. Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha and exhale Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha Take a few more breaths like that on your own. With the next exhalation, bend down, relax your neck and shoulders. With the next inhalation, reach forward with your arms, go up, and on the exhale, bring your arms down. Extend your right leg forward, just sit here for a moment, close your eyes, take a couple of nice deep breaths. And then whenever you feel ready, bend your left knee out to the side. Again, you can prop your right knee with something if you need to. With the next inhalation, raise your arms up. And as you exhale, gradually bend forward, placing your right hand over your right foot or ankle. Inhale, lift about halfway, lengthen. On the exhale, turn to your left, looking back, reaching out. Inhale, turn forward, left arm by your ear. And with the exhalation, drape down. With the inhalation, again, halfway lift. Left arm by your ear. Gradual abdominal contraction as you turn to your left. Look back, reach back. Inhale, turn forward. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, drape down. Relax your neck. Go through the entire cycle one more time on your own, please. And then hold on to your foot or ankle with both hands. With the next inhalation, flatten the back. Keep your head in line with the spine and lengthen through the back of the neck. Create maximum length from the tailbone to the top of the head. With the inhalation, move your awareness from the top of the head through the body down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness up as you gradually lift your pelvic floor muscles and cr progressively contract your abdomen. And let's add our chant to that. Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha And exhale. Vikalpa nidra smrtayaha Continue like that on your own, please. And with the next exhalation, bend forward, relax your neck and shoulders. On the inhale, reach forward, lead with the chest and go up. As you exhale, bring your arms down. 
Extend both legs forward and then bend both knees out to the sides. Take a deep breath here and with the exhalation bend forward. Place your forearms on the floor between your legs. Relax your neck and shoulders. And take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then little by little, make your way up and then transition down to the ground, onto your back. Keep your knees bent and your feet pretty close to your butt. Keep your feet about hip distance apart, arms along the body. Next time when you inhale, slowly roll your hips up, raising your right arm up over your head, reach up high. And with the exhalation, slowly roll down, bringing your arm down and turning your head away from the moving arm. And again, with the inhalation, slowly roll your hips up, raising your left arm up, head returns to the center. And with the exhalation, roll down, lowering the arm and turning your head away from the moving arm. Do it one more time on each side, please. Rolling up and down as gradually as you can with your breath. And whenever you finish with your current repetition, hug your knees to the chest for a moment. And then put your feet down. Make your way into the comfortable resting position of your choice. Straighten your legs down if it works best. Or you can keep the knees bent, whatever works best for you today. Once you get situated, bring your attention to your breath. With the inhalation, move your awareness from the top of the head down to the pelvic floor. And with the exhalation, move your awareness from the pelvic floor upwards toward the top of the head. As you do continue to do that, we'll add our chant. This time we'll chant the entire sutra. So with the inhalation, chant mentally. Pramana viparyaya. And exhale. Vikalpa nidra smirtayaha. Inhale. Pramana viparyaya. Exhale. Vikalpa nidra smirtayaha. Again. Pramana viparyaya. And exhale. Vikalpa nidra smirtayaha. Take a few more breaths like that. And then let go of the chant, relax your body, breathe comfortably. Relax fully and take a few full deep breaths here.
and then little by little begin to transition up into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Please make sure that you're fully comfortable and that you can stay there for a while for our meditation. If you need to sit up on the chair, you're welcome to do that. So get yourself situated. Make sure that your spine is upright. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. With the exhalation, place your palms together and slowly move them down along the midline of, of the body. And we'll do that with our chant. So with the inhalation, sweep your arms up. Pramana viparyaya. And move your hands down. Vikalpa nidra smirtayaha. Again. Pramana viparyaya. Vikalpa nidra smirtayaha. Do it one more time on your own, please. And then rest your hands on your knees. Relax your shoulders. Sit up tall. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe deep. And as you continue to breathe here, envision a tall, hollow space inside of you like a tower or conservatory. Imagine the shelves all around it, inside, filled with books, manuscripts, files, letters, notebooks. All of these contain information. So come back to the idea of the current challenge that you thought of at the very beginning of the practice. What is it that concerns you the most right now? And then imagine going through those books and magazines in the shelves, looking for information that contains ideas about what you think is going on. What do you think is the reason for this challenge that you're experiencing right now? And as you find some items that contain clues, pull those items out and throw them down on the floor. And continue to do that Continue to look for books and notebooks with information. This information can be correct or incorrect. With information about what you think is going on. And keep dropping those down on the floor. Now go through the shelves looking for the items that represent other people's ideas, what they think is happening for you, what do they think is going on. That includes doctors' opinions, things you've read on the internet, things other relatives or friends or co-workers told you. All those things that other people think about the situation, about this challenge. 
pull all those items off the shelves and drop those down on the floor, adding to that pile. And do that for a few more minutes. And now go through the shelves looking for books and notebooks that contain information on your projections for the future based on your current challenge. How do you see your future for yourself based on what you're experiencing right now? Does it look bleak or does it look radiant and promising? If you come across what-if scenarios, pull those out too and drop them down into that big pile. So keep collecting all the items that represent your projections based on your current experience. And go through those shelves one last time, looking for the memories. Memories that you have associated with this challenge. Some of those memories might be painful. Some of those memories might be yours, or they might concern people around you. So collect those, pull them off the shelves, and throw them down into the pile. And after you do that, look at that pile on the ground that represents all those ideas and projections and thoughts associated with this challenge that you're experiencing. Some of those ideas are useful, some are not. Some create problems, others don't. Regardless, bring your attention to your breath right now, please. And now, we will do Kapalbhati with the idea of building internal fire. So as you inhale, slowly expand your belly out and then with rapid exhalation, pull your belly in. And again, inhale, expand and exhale, pull the belly out, exhaling rapidly. And continue to go like this, in and out, in and out, expanding the belly, sticking it out as you inhale, and then pulling it in as you exhale, 
do it at your own pace, not too fast. And as you continue to do that, imagine building the fire in your belly, setting that whole pile of books and manuscripts and notebooks on fire. Spend few moments with that, building that nice strong fire. And watch that pile burn. You can stop with your Kapalbhati now and just continue to breathe deeply. Imagine that the air that you take in with your breath continues to feed the fire. The fire has transformational quality. So as those manuscripts and books keep burning, Imagine that at the same time that fire warms you up on the inside. It warms up your heart. It clears and illuminates your mind. And as that fire continues to burn, create that sense of warmth coziness, comfort inside. And as you stay with that image of warm, comforting fire, illuminating your thoughts and warming up your heart, ask yourself one simple question. What is the next step? What is the next step that you need to do right now to deal with your current challenge? Set your course of action and see what comes to you. And then next time when you inhale, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. With the exhalation, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Relax the chin down a bit. Take a few more full deep breaths here. Maintaining your inner awareness. Maintaining that sense of warmth and coziness on the inside.
You can stay here for as long as you like. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.